Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Travis and I am a video editor. And if you're like me, you're probably familiar with proxies and the process of using proxies. And if you're not, let me enlighten you on what proxies are. So proxies essentially are a lower res, lower quality version of your 4K footage or 6K or 8K or whatever you're filming on. It could even be 1080 footage, but you just want something that's easier to work with. So when I make proxies, it's usually a 1280 by 720p clip that we use and we'll connect that to our 4K footage inside of Premiere. So then that way when we're editing, we're not using that raw 4K footage. We're basically editing with that 720p low res footage. So it's much easier for the computer to edit through. This isn't just for computers that aren't powerful either. I have a pretty powerful laptop, pretty powerful desktop, and I still prefer to use proxies because once you start dropping in three or four cameras and effects and all this crazy stuff, it, it does bog down your computer. Now there is a problem though with proxies, in particular if you create proxies internally. So there's a lot of ways to make proxies, but there's kind of two that most people are coming with. One of them is creating them inside of Premiere, and the other one is recording them internally. So now I personally prefer to record them internally. I know not every camera can do that, but as far as my Sony Alpha cameras, they all allow for that feature. So there is one problem that I run into with my Sony camera, and that's the fact that it doesn't create proxies for when we film in 4K, 120 frames per second, which is a big bummer because we still have to create proxies for that. And so what I used to do is I would create those proxies inside of Premiere, like I used to before I did the internal proxy recording. And I would be left with something that was not looking quite right. So when I would get inside of Premiere, I would run the proxy on my 120 frames per second footage, and I would connect the proxies and do all the stuff you're normally supposed to do. And I would start editing and I'd be like, this is great, it's running super smooth. And then I would look at the final edit without the proxy footage and none of the clips lined up at all. What basically happened is when it rendered the proxies, it didn't render them in 120 frames per second, it was a different frame rate. So the proxies didn't match the same time code as the raw footage, so none of the footage matched up. So what I thought was editing looked nothing like what I had. So chances are, if you clicked on this video, you're running into the same problem that I did. So I'm gonna walk you through the solution to this. Step one, like this video. Step two, subscribe. Step three, ring the bell. Step four, let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is, instead of creating your proxies inside of Premiere, you wanna create them inside of Shutter Encoder. So you're gonna import your 120 frames per second footage into Shutter Encoder. Once you're there, you're gonna to go to Choose Functions, you're gonna click on that and you're going to go to editing codecs. Inside of editing codecs, click on Apple ProRes. Change the 422 to proxy. Now, if you like, you can also add things like a LUT. So if you had flat footage, you could go ahead and have your proxies look like how they'll look when they're color corrected. You could change your color space. You could add text. You could change the, the size and everything. Um, the only thing we're gonna worry about in this one is we're gonna change this size to 1280 by 720, and then we're gonna hit start function. Once your 120 frames per second footage has been exported, we're not done with shutter encoder yet. You're gonna to wanna to clear this, go back to where your proxy rendered out. You're gonna find that here. Now we're gonna right click, we're gonna rename it, and what we wanna get rid of is that Apple ProRes. So right here where it says replace, you're gonna hit underscore Apple underscore Pro res, and it should look just like this, underscore proxy, that's it. It is case sensitive, so you wanna make sure you're capitalizing and lower casing where you need to. Hit rename, and that is it with Shutter Encoder. Now that that is done, inside of Premiere, you're going to right click, you're going to go to proxies, attach proxies, you're gonna look for that proxy, attach it, and you're done. Now your footage should look correct and you're all set. So there you have it, 120 frames per second proxies working correctly inside of Premiere Pro. I would love to see how you're utilizing 120 frames per second footage in your films. Feel free to share some below in the comments and I'll check them out. And until next time, we'll see you.